Hello friends. As promised, I'm going to do a flip through of the other journal that I finished for one of my really, really great friends um, who lives near me. Um, relatively new friend, but um, she is such, such a sweet, compassionate, giving person and um, is just a valuable friendship to me. So I wanted to make her a journal that um, I don't really know if she journals, but I do know that she loves uh, a certain movie slash book. And so I wanted to make a journal that she could have in that theme to put in her uh, study, which is done in this theme also. And so I made The Wizard of Oz. Now the tie is over here. I took it off because I have literally just finished adding some ephemera but the tie is just a green piece of sari silk with some red and yellow flowers. We're gonna pretend like they're poppies. <laughs> and um, I thought it looked really great. I decided I could not have the heart to punch a hole and put a, a eyelet here for a tie. So I decided to tie it all the way around. This upholstery fabric is the same as what I used on the spine here. And then I have some gold rickrack there's two signatures in here, and it is pretty chunky. I think I have 20 pages in each one um, folded. So yes, I was definitely gaping open. But the colors, I wanted them to be very, very bright and bold. Um, I did want it to look old, you know, vintage. So there are some coffee stained and uh, ink edged things in here, but I also wanted it to show off the beautiful colors of this Barnes & Noble Collector's Edition book. This is from 2012. I ordered it off of thriftbooks.com, one of my favorite places to order. And Barnes & Noble does these beautiful leather-bound, they're not really leather, uh, leather-bound collections of famous books and they redo the covers every few years. And this was my favorite cover of this story. So I waited until I found this one beautiful back and front. I love it so much. So there's a lot of green in here. There's a lot of gold. There's a lot of yellow and of course pops of red and blue for Dorothy's dress and shoes. So starting off, we have a little pocket here. Uh, let me say one, let me show you the two books that I used real quick. Um, of course, one of the books that I pulled from is the book that you see here. So the original story with the original illustrations is, uh, was in this book. And then also to supplement, I purchased this book, which is a 70, let's see, the official 75th anniversary companion. If you are wanting to do a Wizard of Oz journal, I highly recommend this book. Not only does it have beautiful full page black and white and color images, it also has in the very back, I took it off, but there it comes with an envelope full of um, reproduction ephemera, such as movie posters, um, black and white, I guess, set photos of all the characters, uh, tickets, um, certificates for the, the scarecrow for receiving the brain and things like that, the death certificate for the Wicked Witch of the East. Um, super fun, super fun thing to have and pull from. The book itself is gorgeous. I took the book jacket off this could be a journal. It'd be a little large, but I can see someone turning this into a massive, amazing Wizard of Oz junk journal. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that out of the way, I took the uh, signature page from this book and turned it into a tag so she can put her name here. And then I just have a little Tim Holtz tag and an apple pie recipe because of the apple forest. Growing up, this movie <clears throat> the first time I really remember watching it, I was seven, um, and I had the flu when I watched it. It came on TV every January, I think, and I was home with the flu, and I remember the scene that scared me the most was the apple tree scene. I don't know why, because there are plenty of other scary scenes, like the flying monkeys, but the apples that were being thrown by the trees just terrified me. That's just a funny little tidbit. Um... This is the cover page of the original book, this book, uh, and this is what the 
author wrote. He dedicated the book to his wife. And I thought this was fun. I don't remember who this is. I think when he's one of the guards to the Emerald City. And then I used some blue, uh, green foil paper here or card, card stock for the Emerald City. And then I did one of my uh, patch patchwork pockets with my end cups. And then we have a little photograph photograph studio card and an embossed gold card with some fabric and then a picture of the tornado at the farm. This is not in order of the story. Um, I just happened to put that here, but the story is not really in order. This is some vintage fringe trim and then tucked up on this paper clip. We have a little, this is from, uh, olddesignshop.com. This is just a little vintage ad for some sort of a powder, beauty powder. And then this is a little page from a book about terriers, which Toto is a Karen Terrier. So I thought that was fun. This is a page from an ideals book with hot air balloons. I saw this months ago when I knew I wanted to start making this journal and I pulled it out. Ledger page paper. I always love to put tailor-made originals, wrapping paper digital, not wrapping paper, gift <laughs> wallpaper digitals in my journals. I love them so much and the colors of this set that I bought had a lot of greens and golds. We have Kool-Aid dye paper and then some Monopoly money. This is a little ticket that I found online of the, I guess the premiere of the movie. Uh, at Grumman's Chinese Theater, and then a little journaling card about rainbows. I don't think the rainbow was mentioned at all in the book. I think that was a Hollywood edition. And then I had this page that said, you're so brave, so I put that in there for the lion. This looked like poppies to me, and here's a gold doily, and here's a page about Glenda. There she is. I thought about taking some of my daughter's alcohol ink markers and tinting this, but I was afraid I would mess it up, so I did not. <laughs> and then we have an envelope here. Oh, I did a little die cut of the ruby slipper. Did you know that in the book, the slippers were silver? That was something I learned too. Um, and this is just a little um, note card that had glitter and I thought it, the colors went well with it. Lots of paper clips in this one. <laughs> this is some poppy tissue paper that I bought at Hobby Lobby. You might have seen this in my haul. And I just glued it down onto one of the Oz book pages. And then sewed around the edge with some variegated thread. This is another book page from this book. We have some greenback stamps and a little vintage gift card, greeting card, gift card. This is some of that ephemera that came in that large green book. Here's a little tuck spot. And then I put a Dorothy gingham tag with some really fun foil eyelash trim and then a rainbow card for journaling. And this is actually this little pack of paper flowers from Hobby Lobby and I just used a Sharpie to make the center black so it looked like a poppy. And here's some more of that decoupage tissue paper. That's so fun to do. I love doing that. I need to get some more pattern tissue. And here's another one of those uh, patchwork tags or journaling cards and they're not really I didn't back them with anything you could back it with coffee dye paper or you can just journal here between the thread lines and then this is an image just from a magazine of an apple and I put coffee dye paper on the back this is a digital yellow brick road or yellow brick um, scrapbook paper image that I of course had to use some apples, movie poster, more apples. 
This is just another book page that I folded and then rounded the corners. I thought that was so cute. That was when the lion got sleepy in the poppy field. That's one of my favorite scenes. I think it's so cute when they get sleepy and just fall down and go to sleep. This is actually Dorothy in her understudy. She looks a lot like her, I think. And then here's a full picture of the cast. I tried to put the pictures like this in the center of the two signatures. Here's a paint chip pocket that I put Dorothy on. You have another rainbow card, and then I did an embossing on this cardstock and then sanded it lightly. And then here, another one of those patchworks, and then this is an embossed really bumpy embossed card. And then this is just a journaling card with, we're gonna call this a poppy, glued to the top corner. And then I have some eyelet with some ribbon here. I sewed some glittery trim ribbon here and there. This is another one of those ephemeras that came with the book. It's a little bookmark. And then this is a vintage poppy postcard image that I found. A little pocket with the cowardly lion. And then a little quote from the scarecrow. Nope, the tin man. I get those two confused. He wanted a heart and a little Bible verse card with a hot air balloon and a little doily sewn onto the top of that one. That was a file folder backed card. A little fabric pocket here with that same gold fabric and this is some sari trim. And then I found this on eBay. It's a card from Kansas with writing from 1968 and this is the brochure for the land of oz uh, it's no longer a theme park but it is now they just have a festival one weekend a year i've never been i would love to go sometime the other part of that ideals image there's a little pocket with a quote from dorothy and a little image from the book that's the little socks sticking out and then I just put her behind the pocket I thought that was fun and then here is the certificate of death that the coroner brought to Dorothy the munchkin that was another ephemera in that book and then I did a little torn pocket here and a large journaling card far from home Second signature. I created this little image in a, like a Photoshop type program. I found a font that looked like cross stitch and just added these little hearts and put it in a little wooden frame. I couldn't find anything that said no place like home, so I had to make my own. And then I made a little Rolodex card as if it might have been something Professor Marvel gave to Dorothy. And then here's a little poppy seed envelope. And I put a little embossed card inside with gold foil. And then we have a milk bottle cap and then a little playing card. Not that Auntie M would have ever had playing cards in her house, but you know, I just put it in here anyway. Maybe Professor Marvel has some. Here's some Kool-Aid dyed paper. Cast of characters with some vintage green lace. I believe this is from Happy Mail from Jan. I'm pretty sure it is. I love that rich green. Here's some glittery paper, so fun. And then I did a gingham fabric pocket and some 
images I found online of Valentine's. This is one of those movie posters in this book and it folds out. I thought this looked like wallpaper that would have been in Auntie M's home. Here's another ideals book with some poppies. And of course I could not find Somewhere Over the Rainbow, but I did find I'm Always Chasing Rainbows, one of my favorite old songs. It was in one of my song books. This is an embossed envelope, and I just did some collaging on here. And then inside we have another image from the original book, and it just flips out for journaling. See, the colors are just so happy, bright and cheerful. I love all the primary tones. I found and printed a map of the Land of Oz. And then I used that same tissue paper to decoupage a book page and turned it into a little envelope. And then a little journaling card with the poppy. I love making these little book page envelopes. Here's another envelope and I found I couldn't find a bicycle page with the basket, but I figured that could be Mrs. Fulcher's bicycle. And then, another little movie poster image. There's the lion and the tin man. Isn't that a fun, fun image of the tin man? That's cool. I used to think it was neat how they made the whiskers on him. I did a little tuck spot with one of the chapter entry artworks and then I put a yo-yo and made a little index folder journaling card with Toto. This was an image that I found on the public domain searching public domain. It was an ad for a production of The Wizard of Oz. Another patchwork pocket and inside here, this is an image from the large green book. It was just a little celebrity magazine cover and then a little soda label. I know she's a fairy, but I figured it was sort of close to the, the Witch of the West. Glinda. <laughs> this looked like Kansas to me, minus the mountains in the background, but that's the other side of that ideals image. Here's a belly band made with, this is a snippet strip belly band. And then I put a flashcard that said skip because they kind of skip through the forest down the brick road. And then this is a Methodist woman address book page. Here's some green glitter. And then this is a certificate for Dorothy presenting her home. And then I've had these stickers for so long, I, I mean, probably 20 years. And I used the Dorothy, but I did not use these. So I just took these in there for her. And then we have a poppy journaling card and a little tag on her way home. And then here I embossed a coin envelope. And we have a little tiny I think this is a poster from one of the early productions of the play. And then a image I found online of a high school production of the play. And that is it. 
thank you for watching and sticking around till the end. This was such a fun theme to work with. I was a little intimidated by it. I've never done a theme uh, from a movie. I would call this more of a movie theme than a book theme. Um, but I think it was, was, I was making it harder than it needed to be. It really, really went fast and I enjoyed every moment of it. And I'm so glad that you could uh, see a flip through with me and I will be giving this to my good friend this evening and posting the video soon after. Thank you for joining me. I hope all of you have a great start to your week.